Here we go. And we're don't live. Don't mouth up to me or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. That's a <laughs> great don't. thing to start the show out with. Slapping people in the penis. <laughs> Love it. Right in your penis. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that, was so that. Good. Mm-hmm. that was so good that church retracted his message. It was. <laughs> what do we got out there so far? We got uh, trains out there. Uh, Raven Shadows is out there. Um, Andrew Yeaton Church. Oh, look, there's a hash in the comments. Retracted his message. Oh, there's a couple people oh, out there. Kenny B. Uh-uh. Who's got the John? Better not be me again. The day is golf tee. It ain't me. I don't have it on at all. Hey, I, it was me again. I can start muting people randomly and figure it out that way. You know, I'm not. That's I'm not fucking sorry. genius. That's gonna be a new thing with me. I'm just gonna fucking be uh, start having the show playing. I guess. Nikki's out there. Jen Jarvis is in the house. Eric Sutherland's out there. Adam uh, is out there. King Jig. Pew. Socrates is in the house. Socrates, where's the missus? One of these nights, we're going to get you to propose live on air. You know what? He was I... showing pictures of her ring on Instagrizzles. He may have done it without us. Dirty yeah, motherfucker. It was, a, it, was a, it was a birthstone ring. It wasn't a, it wasn't a diamond. Okay. No. Never mind. I retract previous said statement. You're was, all right. It was on the left. It was on the left, it was hand. On the left hand. Ooh. Ooh it Socrates. Was, yeah, yeah. You better not have. I'm just saying. I got 12 Unless weeks. That's a promise. I don't know. After that promise, video, he, he may have had to do it out of submission. She was kicking his ass. I'm just saying. I've got 12 weeks, and then that will be my two-year mark. That is a perfect time for you to come on. Can we talk about bringing in my second uh, or bringing it into my third year of doing this with a big bang? Come on. Yeah. I think at least a couple of us are ordained. We can just have you propose, and then we can do the wedding right here on TJ's show. I will go and get ordained. I'll do it right now. Electronically sign the certificate? I'll do it right now. I'm already ordained. I'm good. Let's do it. Let's get get it on. I bet I can get ordained by the end of the show. Oh, I can see how that will go, and you can say I do (laughs) if you want to. I've been ordained for about five years now, so let's do it. That's right. I, I, I've been waiting for this moment right now. You, <laughs> doc, doc, you sign the uh, life, the uh, marriage license. Exactly. There. You can to have and to hold if you want to. If you want to, <laughs> death do your part, and you go love, to love, love, love on, you yeah, love, honor, and obey if you want to. If you want to, you may like kiss that. the bride if you want to. <laughs> so <laughs> what? You're going to do it in Detroit? For for a marriage ceremony, this is very non-committal. I'm not sure how I feel about it. (laughs) What would you look at that? Socrates says he's doing it in Detroit. I'll marry you there. I don't give a fuck. I'll be there. Yeah. We can marry you at Lafayette's Hot Dogs. How much more romantic? Yeah. It'll be a quick service because we'll get that guy to do the service and take her order in the same spot. What do you want? Get married. Exactly. You 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 walk in the door. What do you want? Well, now I know. I want two. I want two conies and an order of chili fries. Thank you very much, good sir. And if you could stuff this in one of the hot dogs, that would be great. Exactly, Minmo. Don't choke it. Don't choke on that. <laughs> <laughs> so I want some of those water-soaked waters that come out of that cooler over there. They dribble all over the table. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That'd be fun. Speaking of Detroit, has anybody else decided they're going to join us that's out there in the comments? Who's coming? Hey. I got plane ticket, hotel room, and approved leave. Ah, oh, shit. You nice. got the plane ticket. I don't got the plane ticket yet, but I'm waiting for bonus. I'm or in there like swimwear. IRS. To, uh... Don't call it a bonus. That's goddamn change. That just means you overpaid all fucking year. Bonus. <laughs> it's all right. Let's go into my bank account. I checked my pockets. All I have is a boner. What's up, Kimmy? Just What's up, Kimmy? Me. Welcome. Kimmy. <laughs> that was uncalled for, and I'm sorry. 
No, you're really not. We know are, how you roll. You Stop lying to us. Because Kimmy came in here. Yeah. Is that it? You're apologizing because yeah. Kimmy came in here and you're talking about boners. Right. Nah, Five minutes ago, he was in there like swimwear. Now he's apologizing for boner jokes and shit. Look at this guy. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> big on, bring on the big veiny ones, man. Oh shit. <laughs> That's gonna make me puke. It's like. Doc and everybody was how you hold it. You got to see that little first pivot. You got to get in there and grab it. It gives you extra room for cupping. <laughs> Always important. So, um, well, it is in the beginning before we get too far off track here. Um, what does everybody think about uh, the American Cancer Society changing their views a little bit on vaping? Um, I think it's conveniently think timed it, right after Dr. Gottlieb went off the fucking deep end on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, that um, sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those, it's one of those things. Like if you, if you read the summary, it sounds pretty, it sounds okay. If you read the rest of it, you're like, wow, they really want you to try everything else first. Yeah. Everything yeah. else. Like, and that's what I got out of it. But I mean, you can only you can only sit there with your thumb up your ass for so long. I mean, it was, even for even for an admission, it was fairly noncommittal. And, so. and what it, there wasn't there was a part in there that I read that said they are highly against dual using. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm like, but I mean, it's the American Cancer Society. I mean, that's what they're that's what they're going to do. And yeah. they um, said both, and then parentheses dual using. It's like they've been watching all these fucking shows, right? I'm going, are you kidding me? Because at that point, um, they may as well just um, tell them to, uh, to say no to it because they're saying, yes, it does seem like it is a safer alternative to quit. It is. Which we know that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, when they're saying don't dual use, they're not understanding that still mitigates some of that risk. One less cigarette you smoke. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I could see long-term dual using not being the best thing for you, but that's because you're still to, smoking. To help, to help step down, I I, don't, I see absolutely no problem with when you're first, you know, you first go in that first vape shop and you pick up a, a setup, and you're still smoking. You know, that's fine for a short term till you till your till your body tells you you're ready. You know, hope you know, to put a timetable on it probably hard to say because everybody's different but but we all know what happens you know you find you know you find yourself smoking less and less and vaping more and then you know you go to have that one last cigarette and you're like this this tastes like shit you get rid of it and you're you're done precisely yeah what's up very hot you know, and then you know, and then the you know, American Cancer Society basically wants you to. Well, if you don't commit suicide from shantix, yeah, go ahead and try vaping. Yeah, it might work. It might, yeah, work. It might, it might work as well as our, our suicide inducing uh, psychotropics. Oh, yeah. it, it was kind of like the Logan Paul apology of the acknowledgement. <laughs> the like they said, <laughs> but we all know they don't really mean it, and they're really just doing it for the publicity. And they're going to do a comeback tour later on to try and see that you know, look how much we've improved our position here. Yeah. In the meanwhile, it's, they it's, said, it's almost it's almost like Jesse wrote it. Basically, yeah, you could try vaping if you want to. If you want, to. <laughs> <laughs> you try everything else. Exactly. It was the so, it was the Socrates of of admissions. Thanks for really? making turn it into a negative thing, Frank. <laughs> You're welcome, Jess. It was funny I, until you just said that. Now it's not even cool. No, it was fucking hilarious then. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that. If you want to. <laughs> I, I want to believe that. <laughs> you can laugh at that if you want to. Uh, FBFC, I see. That, I feel the same way. I do think there may be some sort of ulterior motive to that because that doesn't uh, seem to fit the government's MO. Doesn't add up. In this case, here. two and two does not make four. It makes forty. It mm-hmm. makes two. I mean, it's inflation. I mean, it's. Uh, 
I'm sure something will come out here shortly about flavors too. I mean, it's we're, I think, we're all just sitting around waiting for the flavor ban to hit on a federal level. I, I think they're giving everybody a chance on the. Hmm? I just think they're going about it as straightforward as Hesh's house. A little over to the right. Yeah. You're a little crooked tonight, Hesh, is all he's saying. No, I know. I'm always crooked. <laughs> my, three, my, my, my porch slopes to allow water runoff. Crooked as fuck. Yeah, I'm thinking it's one of two things, either federal porch, flavor ban or federal tax. Or both. I mean, is that is that better? Much we better. Left, we That's about right. There you go. Uh, it's a little disturbing. Yep. Well, now that that's out of the way, we got the serious talk out of the way. I'm good. What else you guys got? That was the only serious talk I had today. Let's talk cock and balls. Oh, is this weird? The, yeah. actually, I have one other serious note. Um, even though I know he's not watching, it is Mr. Gregory Conley's birthday today. Greg Conley. Uh, happy we, birthday. Happy um, birthday, Greg Conley. I met you in yeah. person, you handsome son of a gun. There you go. Gave a, he gave a lovely, like, 35-minute talk. Nice. And our people need to step up their fucking game. Do your fucking part. That's all we're asking. Do you have a serious question? We have serious questions out there. I do. Uh, huh? Why are those two 3D printers not going with one-inch dicks? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, that's a very good question, Lifa. Lifa, you're having problems with your audio a little bit there. And I keep getting some mic feedback. And then your your voice, the audio changes a little bit. <coughs> He just wants to know why there isn't one-inch dicks being 3D printed right now, Jesse. Yeah, he's talking about that there's two 3D printers behind you, and neither of them are making one-inch dicks. Which the, yeah, the, the micropeen, you know, production needs to keep rolling, or else you're not going to be the king of the micropeen. Yeah, how are you going to hit somebody with a hot bag of dicks if you're not making them? Right. Do they come get off the press hot? Hot, hot bags of dicks, yeah, right. Hot, hot, hot and hard, freshy. Hot and hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I was a Krispy Kreme donuts, hot and ready. Yeah. Jesse's Hello. just not even going to acknowledge. All right. It. How's that? Like, that better? I was. I'm, I'm not guessing. Guess. But uh, what happened? What's that? What, what is it? What is it? One inch what? dicks. One inch. Oh dicks. yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna act. I'm going to have to buy myself a fucking 3D printer so I can satisfy the world's need for one-inch dicks in a bag. I didn't say I wasn't going to make them. I just said I wasn't going to acknowledge that we're talking about it. <laughs> well, this is the perfect time it. to do it, Jesse. You get to jump on China since we're all in New Year. Right. Yeah. You got at least two weeks to get the market locked down. Hey, you might even be able to get a, a pending patent in prior to that. <laughs> I mean, the the, pat, the patent wouldn't count for much, not with China. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're totally, they're totally cloning. Jesse, they're going to clone oh, you. Oh, oh. You make one inch, we make three quarter inch. It's right, a but clone. Have, but at that point, they would have to call them Strucker styled one inch dicks. Oh, right. Strucker, uh, Strucker oh, styled. Oh, Strucker styled micro peen. There you That's, go. That might be more impressive than just the the, the normal, because <laughs> it's in the style of someone meant. It meant so much to someone that they styled something in, in that. Well, that's how we do it, Jesse. All you're going to have to do is print out like a hundred of them. We just put them out in the market. They get them cloned. They make them for half the price that you are making them for. And, and then, then we got deals across the board. You yeah, you can, <laughs> buy, you can buy them off of them, rebrand re them, and send them out. <laughs> get yourself a little like a brand, like an actual little micro brand. Heat that up and like brand the side of the China micro dicks so that brand way you the them all. You're in there like swimwear. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you find out about me. that. They're going to clone your little brand and then you won't even have to do them anymore. You can put them in your swimwear. All right. If the V2s are already going to come branded. You're just going to have to buy them wholesale, like lots of 20 or more. 20 bags of micro penises. That's 
I'm going to need to grow some micropene. Right. Grow some mini cock. <laughs> Ooh, Actually, that's gross. Only till you've been to the right bachelorette party. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raven Shadow Babe still wants the extreme monster peen. <laughs> That's like two inches. Was, right? No, I think it was like sixty-five inches wide by a hundred inches tall. I, I, I Makes for a hell of a hood ornament. Eight foot high foot an ornament. <coughs> oh, is your car supposed to be a unicorn? No, it's a monster peen. That's quick how fast we lose viewers once we start talking about penises. Apparently, people how are uncomfortable with the word penis. How many do we have? Because I just seen it jump two. Oh. 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 Apparently, I wasn't paying attention because mine jumped from 40 something to 35. Uh, they're going back and forth. There's probably another channel that's not talking about peeing. Uh, yeah, I guess. You guys don't want to hear about dicks. Speaking of okay, cops, so where is Giz? Good this. question, Dr. TMI. Where is Giz? I have I have something to say, too. I, you don't see my 3D printers going because I've been modeling Nikki and Don's tits all day. I want to start making replicas of them. Wow. Whoa. That's ballsy. And not that on the micro great. penis side of things either. There's got to be a flip side to the peen. All right. All right. Now I'll wait for yeah. Don to come in and beat the piss out of you and walk yeah, off. I was going to say, for the record, everybody throw tits at him. Don comes in, nothing is happening. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just stepping back to the corner of the room and. and she let exactly, me do it. Exactly what, are talking, what are you talking about? I was holding. Oh, I said was. Yeah, I just said wow. That's all I said. Didn't say anything more. <laughs> Why are you guys expecting me to get hit? Why wouldn't we expect you to get hit? I'm not. Oh, <laughs> uh, now the audience wants to play up on Don. Actually, I take that back. Hearts out there. Nikki's in the chat, and I guess I wasn't supposed to be talking about that. Sorry. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay, we'll edit that out of the live show. Yeah, I, I do that. Um, you guys know I don't edit these shows at all, right? They stay how they are, so you should really watch your mouth, Jesse. Yeah, but this time you should edit. Now, so they'll know that you were talking about it. Maybe, maybe Don's not watching. That's the one you got to worry about. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah, the chat, good luck with that. There you go. She goes, I'm so proud of you, Jesse. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 no, you gotta remember, Dawn's like Santa Claus. She's always watching. Jet. Yep, I guess she's watching. Just <laughs> like this, in the corner, in the corner of the room, and every anytime Jesse tries to like tries to get o over to the wall, you just push him back with your leg. Like, oh. right. getting, <laughs> getting chest bumped against the wall. Get back! Yeah. At, get back! At, get back in the circle, Jesse. Get back in the circle. I've got a non-interference pact here. If you die, you die, son. <laughs> See, no, I, I really, truly think that she's probably proud of him. I was proud of him when he's like just taking a stab out and and took his balls and just said, "Hey, I'm making this instead." Yeah. You sure you're going to Detroit, Jesse? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's in your best interest. Yes. I don't know, but I've been I've been known to do crazy things. <laughs> I'm always jumping in the line of fire of shit. <laughs> Jesse died death by Lafayette. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. That <laughs> he, couldn't, he just couldn't swallow them fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> you, just see, you just see a dead body covered in purple glitter. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't know what happened to him. <laughs> What's that over there? Just a pile of clothes. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, an art, it's an art installation. It's yeah, kind of that's glitter. It's called Life Like Death. You know, the city probably wouldn't even notice either if you were covered in glitter because they would probably think somebody did that on purpose. You know, they would sit there until spring and you're thawed out and then you start to stink and then they start worrying. Right, it's a mixed media installation. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everybody saying their goodbyes to me? What the hell? 
<laughs> well, it was nice knowing you. Right. <laughs> On the plus side, the output for Adore Eliquid's about to go up a little bit. That's right. <laughs> Shit's about to get real funny. Are those going to be like uh, Happy Meals where you order three bottles of concentrate and you get those for free? Get a micro penis in the package? Well, if it ain't, yeah. it should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. see going before, the show, I got notice, before the show i got a notice from that wish app because my kids said hey check out wish app you can get like fidget spinners for like a buck and then you gotta pay like three dollars shipping and it takes five months because it's from china well i gotta notice that there's these stress ball type things that are like boobs and they have like nipples on them Except for on the app, they have them like X'd out. Like he didn't know <laughs> what they were. <laughs> so you can just like fondle boobs? Yeah, you just like leave them on your desk and when things are getting worse, you put it in your hand and take your thumb and you see it's funny because and... yesterday I saw one of those things that they, they make for the back of your cell phones that you can like put your fingers around so you can keep from slipping to your phone. And it was a titty. <laughs> Which I thought made a lot more sense because even if you're not holding the phone, then you can just put that bitch face down and just give you something to toggle. Fidget. Fidget. Oh, so Crates is going to be sitting there as Jesse gets off the plane. Dead man walking. (laughs) 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 There are all sorts of places Don could leave you in Detroit and they would never find you. Oh, it's Jennifer yeah. Jarvis is the coolest mom ever. She bought a stress ball boob for her son. Nice silicone flesh. Nice. <laughs> Fancy. I mean, how old your, how old's your son? Like ballistics gel and shit. Like, no. is this a young son or is this one of the teenage sons? If it's a teenage son, he may he may have been really humiliated for a second, and then he and then he was okay with it. Like, yeah. mom, how good you? Four ninety nine on Amazon for that thing. She says. Nice. Hmm. You can indeed. How much are the three D printed ones going to be, Jesse? Yeah. How much are three D printed Don boobs going to be, Jesse? I haven't worked out that price scale yet. It's going to be a sliding scale. (laughs) Oh, so he's three year olds. Oh, three year olds. So he's totally fine with the stress booby. Nice. (laughs) Then. I guess you had to wean him off yours, so you get him mm-hmm. one for his own that he can take everywhere. Yeah, he might be. He might have questions when he's older, but I mean, until then, totally cool. Mm, I want to call day- that the teacher in daycare may have questions. I want to call that tit mm-hmm. line. If you want two titties, if you want two titties, <laughs> <laughs> can you only saw him in twos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you saw him in twos, but you misspell if you want to T W O. Yep. <laughs> oh, clever, Perfect. Jesse. That was clever. <laughs> oh, yeah. They come to in a pack and it looks like a bra. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nice. Very good, Jennifer Jarvis. They'll yeah. be sent not for your pleasure. Yeah. And <laughs> Uh, Eric Southern would like to know what are the color options for the boobs. How is this two shows in a row where we've gotten talking about titties? <laughs> I, I don't, don't even know. have them playing. I didn't distract anybody tonight. With them. <laughs> I started yeah, this I, one, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, Beth was Beth was overhearing the show last night, and she's like, "If they asked you that question, what would you say? Is it yours? It's a good answer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting that mean look. You know. Exactly. I was describing my wife, so it's all good. Two oh, pack. there you go, so great. Someone in a two pack and call him a rack. Yep. Rack, there you go. Rack him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just got the fucking funny stacks. The old lady hates driving. Just Especially on that. freeways. <laughs> the colors will be pink and purple because that's their favorite colors. 
Ooh. Nice. Golf <sighs> tit vapes. Oh. <laughs> My mic boobies. You make a good point. You, you've got a you've got a new title for the show. <laughs> Golf tit vapes. Uh, let's see here. What else? <laughs> tit time, on? Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Golf teat vapes. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> <Golf> <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nipple drip tips. That would be all right. They're only available. They're available in regular and squonky. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't a bad idea. <laughs> Use the tit. Yeah, drip tits. Drip yeah, tits. <laughs> you know, toppers that go on these, and you can. Like, oh, exactly. Uh, like that. Like they're thir like thirty mil, like thirty mil bottles, and you just drip tits. Yeah. yeah. You gotta squeeze the nipple to get it to come out, though. Yeah, exactly. Like the like the floppy horse cock that life I love so much. Right. <laughs> 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 we start talking about tits, and here comes huge, huge uh, melons. Yeah. Oh, I got another nice. idea. You just fill that seven bitch full of baby powder and just squeeze the powder. That it'll look like powder's coming out of them tits. Just it's for the older. Yeah. Milk yeah. Titties. <laughs> says, is that for your old dusty bastards? <laughs> you can use it for your baby. It's like psh, psh, there you go. When you're feeling all dried up. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Vapor says sell them in Detroit as a two pack. As a two pack. <laughs> two pack. <laughs> it might be still too soon for two pack. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh, nah. It's never too soon. Anything else? Anything else coming down the line? <laughs> yeah, what that, just that's on the. You have to use the redirect site of you can go to hell if you want to dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you can grab tits if you want to dot com. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> what I Flavor Pro Jennifer Jarvis and Jesse makes it weird. <laughs> We're all having a good time and you gotta fuck it up. <laughs> I figured something <laughs> happened. Well, why not? <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, all right. That was fun. I still think it's a good idea to put baby powder in a, a tit and use it for diaper rash and stuff. I don't know. Oh, I have that makes cute. it even weirder, oh. doesn't it? It's, a it's cute, over with it's now. It's such a cute, confusing message for the child. Like, I get milk out of it and then there's powder coming out of it. I'm so confused. <laughs> Is it powdered milk? <laughs> What's. <it? laughs> Mm. Or if you put a you know baby rush ointment in there, it'd be like cream coming out. I think Jeez. it's really weird. Uh, one other thing I did want to cover, even though we're way off topic already, which is cool. Wanted to cover um, some ideas coming up because I didn't get a whole lot. When people start thinking, what kind of ideas do you want me to do for the two year show? Because it's coming up here in twelve episodes, so. That's 12 weeks out, three months. Um, who is it that doesn't like your window back there, TJ? Um, fuck, who is that? Um, is it so is Socrates that doesn't like your window? No, not Socrates. Um, was, it, was it Bachelor? No. I don't, I don't know. Whoever it is that hates my window, fuck off. There it is. Let's see. What could we, what could we do with the window? Maybe I could put a mirror on it and really fuck with them. Put a mirror back there? Put a mirror right beside it and we can have twice the window. We'll just have twice the fun this year. Yeah. Maybe we can talk into Niji doing twice twice the fun. Like maybe she can come out at the beginning and at the end. Two times the Niji. Oh, it's Miles. Oh, that's oh, Mr. It. Miles doesn't like the window. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh. I forgot nobody said anything about it for a while, so it's been a minute. 
Well, maybe you can have windows for miles. <laughs> yeah. Miles of windows. Jesus. Everybody, everybody made claims to their stakes. Mm. I want a steak. So great. <laughs> <laughs> did, steak? So, mm, did somebody say steak? <laughs> 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 Put a Playboy's back there, Miss July 89. Who was Miss July 89? That's rather specific. That is rather specific. Who was that? Yeah. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Let's Google it. I mean, it's sure to pop up. Uh, is, the, is the missus still texting you about how awful the roads are? Um, on the road no, texting? that she accidentally got on the freeway and she doesn't like to drive on the freeway. She's afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, they really, we they really have no ideas. I say, I say if Mr. Miles raises a thousand dollars for advocacy, you take a bat to the window. If he can put up a thousand dollars for it, I would gladly break a window. Where are you at, Mr. Miles? <laughs> or since you mentioned steak, we could all cook one and eat it live on the show. Oh, steak oh I thought that you sound good. I'm not. I do like. I thought steak. you guys were talking about wooden steaks. Hand, oh, best tub panel handbake by TJ. Nice, I got a night off. Best tub, Jesus. I'm ready. I'm ready for a nap. All right. Jesus, that'd be a rough one because that. It's been a Jason Morgan wants, wants life to get alcohol poisoning. A gallon. Holy shit. I know. It's a, a gallon of fireball. Like, life has, as far as I'm aware, life has had very little, very little fireball since yeah. then. When's the last time yeah. you really touched it since then? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> exactly. I had, those little, I had those little bottles for a while, but even those, I dick a couple of sips off of Ugh. Like, yeah, I, rem I remember, I, I remember you getting rather, rather cringy in, uh, in Detroit the second someone broke one out. You're like, that's what really? I should have brought you yeah. in Detroit. <laughs> That's usually what happens with Fireball. It's once you have that one bad experience, it's all over. You don't want to even smell it. See, we do have the uh, GoPro with the head strip that we could attach a GoPro to a bottle of Fireball in Detroit and pass it around. Like get everybody's cringy looks at after they pull off of it. You see. It comes to Fresh 03, he just he just screams and throws it out a window. <laughs> Get it away from me. <laughs> okay. Man. Miles of wires around meter. Thank you. Oh yeah. Um did pretty regular contact with him. Speaking of which where the hell is that? Um actually you just answered the question out there, so anybody who wasn't paying attention last week knows now it's because I did get an email about that. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Just pick some things, put it in your cart, use the code, and figure it out. Well, it'll tell you as soon as you apply the code anyway. Yeah. Oh, Erica Olaniac was Miss July 89. Really? That was that long ago? Oh, no shit. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google I'm gonna Google that. West Cochran. I do have a 50th anniversary special that I could pin up there. <laughs> the old Marilyn Monroe. I don't, I don't remember who was in the centerfold on that one. We'll put a little X over nipples so that way I don't get banned from YouTube. Yeah. Although it's far enough back, I don't think anybody would really notice. No, no, really pin, about want, precious want to pin that shit. <laughs> as soon as you go, Miss July eighty nine. Like the second you start typing Miss July, it's automatically Miss July 1989. Oh wow! No shit. <laughs> yeah, so it's got to be her. Yeah, she was known as Jordan Tate at the time. <laughs> hmm. Did you, did Which she have those giant? Did she have the giant like fake boobs at the time, or was this before? Which is a real name? I don't know if the batteries in that hat will last three hours, to be honest. No, in the film she's described as Jordan Tate, Miss July 1989. 
which is the month Eric Olaniak was a playmate in real life. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So that was under under siege. TJ, I think for the tiered show, maybe we should just start it at like noon and do like a 12 hour show. Marathon style. And that's not a bad idea because I can I'll take, take a random half the day and we'll we'll just we'll go to it and people can pop in as they get off of work. Yeah, I can take a m- random um Wednesday off. That's that'd be kind of fun. Although I don't know what we do for twelve hours, but day drink. But... Everybody get a case of beer day drink live show. Meters oh, wow. usually available on Wednesdays too. Mm-hmm. I tend to be you know, that might not be a bad idea. Then I'll have to take a Thursday off because I'll have to recover. That's what I was going to say. Then everybody's going to have to take Thursday as well to make up for it. And if well, you're I mean, going to take Wednesday or Thursday off, you might as well take Friday up. I was going to say, I was going to say, TJ, you're you're working from home, so I mean, you could you could do a secret day drink, and then take that Thursday off. There you go. And then <laughs> none the wiser. You know, that's not a bad idea either. I'm actually, I bet if we started at, oh, I, I could pull 10 hours probably because oh, I'm done at 2.30. I'm not drinking a firebox. You guys know that they have fireboxes now. It's like two bladders each, 1.75 liters, and it's, yeah, a, no. and it's a box. No. No. Yeah, we don't want him to die. He almost died on us once. That that was enough. (laughs) When I I honestly got nervous the next day to where I texted him and didn't get a reply for like four hours and sent him another text because I was like, hey, buddy, are you okay? You're not dying or anything, are you? I think I got I'm fine. I think that's all I got out of him that day was I'm fine. (laughs) I'm fine. Let me finish watching this show three minutes at a time. Then I can cover my eyes. Where did I call TJ an asshole? <laughs> How old were you guys in 89? I was 18. 89? I would have been... I don't math skills. 11? I think I was seven. No, I still would. I still would. I still would have been ten when she was in Playboy. I was nine. Fourteen. Yeah, I would have been seventeen when she was in it. But yeah, I I turned eighteen, eighty nine, graduated high school that year. I was eight. Oh yeah. So damn, I'm the old man in the room. Yeah. Would you say me? Fourteen. How old were you, Frank? I I turned. I graduated high school in eighty nine. You didn't say how old you were in eighty nine. Yeah, I turned eighteen, eighty-nine. Church was twenty-eight and eighty-nine. Nice. And makes me BFC I was five. <laughs> but you know what he was still doing back then? Yep. Making eye contact. <laughs> Even while he was five. So crates four. Ah. <laughs> oh. This is good, though, because now I know a good age category of where everybody's at now that you guys are shooting your ages out there. Yeah. yeah. Now, what was the street everybody grew up on? Right now, what was your first pet's name? <laughs> I, I, I read now, my- and now we own 43 <laughs> Gmail accounts. <laughs> 15 credit cards. I, I remember the street that I was raised on. It was a gravel rope. I just got an argument with the fraud department at Citibank. It was great. They sent me over there because I was one letter off of my hobby. So they had to verify stuff. So they had to send an email, and then they had to send a text to my phone. And they're like, okay, now we want to apply a uh, security code for this question again. I'm like, okay. And they're like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't know. And the guy's like, what? I don't know. Write that down. (laughs) That way next time you have to fucking verify that you called me at my house about something that I inquired about. 
that I verified everything else except for my security question, I'm going to answer that. I don't know. And somebody's going to, in the customer service department, is going to send me right back over to you. You can verify it. That is, I don't know. <laughs> you guys, it seems like uh, you've been through this a uh, little bit too much today. Yeah, I've been on the phone for an hour and a half. <laughs> so you, sir, can go fuck yourself. <laughs> if you want to. If you want to. <laughs> yes, you won the giveaway. Who won a giveaway? Uh, huge melons. Oh, huge melons? Yeah. Oh, was in. <laughs> they won. He wins. They won a pre show. They won a pre show right here. I still I still remember my address from growing up. What are you guys talking about out there? Yeah. No doubt. I, I remember mine. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, Fresh. Uh, we grew up at a time where we had to remember addresses and fucking phone numbers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You yeah, guys I remember my first one. I could get I can give you the phone number. I could give you I could probably give you a couple a couple people's phone numbers from growing up. Like you use devices to remember the last like my home phone number, the last four digits were seven two one four. So I would remember seven times two is fourteen. So, I remember my grandma's lots of little things like that. Was a kid. I remember the last four was three six one seven. My grandma's yeah, my was mom. six eight six two two nine eight. Mine was two three nine one. Was the last four. You guys are fucking incredible. I have trouble remembering what I had for lunch last week. Mine was four four five nine. Oh, and... no. Don't get it no, wrong. I still have jam. a problem telling you what I did last week, but I can remember like a mother <laughs> shit that happened to me when I was a kid. And I don't even up. remember what I had for lunch today. What are you talking about? <laughs> you had lunch today? What? I I could I honestly couldn't tell you if I had lunch today. It was one I of those had... days. I, I'm sure I ate something at some point. Finger banging. I was raised in southern Missouri. Uh, fluorescent. Isn't there a U in there? That's right. He one. Forgot about that. South southeastern, I should say. Down in the boot hill. <laughs> oh, Roro is in the house. Hi, Ro. Roro. Roro. <laughs> you one of them West Plains kids? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was so dumb, people saying boot hill. <laughs> well, the funniest thing is that depending on where the person is actually from, some people will call it a boot hill. Some people will actually call it the boot heel. Depending on how the neighborhood you're in. <laughs> <laughs> but people are like, so where's the hill? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yep. There's no, there's lots of hills, but this is not that type of hill. <laughs> that's, that's why I laugh every time I see like TV shows and shit talking about the Ozark Mountains. I'm like, bitch, the tallest hill around here is 137 feet and they piled it themselves. There's no fucking mountains around here. <laughs> it, I, I've been in the like, I, I can confirm this. <laughs> Cracks is that like Cedar place. Rapids? Cedar Rapids has got Mount Trashmore. They piled <laughs> up the landfill so high that they figured they needed to do something with it, so they covered it with soil and grass. <laughs> Named it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. You can ski down it in the winter if you want to. Be right back. After these messages, and he's out. Yeah. All right, he didn't put anybody in charge of the show. We can do whatever the fuck we want now. We. Uh -oh. All right, Lee. But now it's time you to start. Don't you mouth off to me, or I'm gonna slap you right in your penis. That's and right. a word from uh, the word from the bogan. Sweet bloody tiny, isn't she? You could slip her up your butt with those little uh, rounded edges. Take her into prison. <laughs> Keep your shit out of the fucking tip and stuff her up your butt. No, I don't recommend doing that. Um, please don't. I don't want to be responsible for anyone's trip to the hospital to have a breeze remove them their ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now, should we copyright and bring you? Yeah, yeah, let's do this. No, that wouldn't be nice. That wouldn't be nice. Or troops uh, let's burn the mother down. Let's see, let's see if I can shut this off exactly at seven seconds. <laughs>
I think that was more than seven seconds. <coughs> yeah, I thought it was about yeah, I guess. Copyright oh, I thought right here. Thank you. What's up? What's up, TJ? We weren't doing nothing. <laughs> That's cool. You guys want to give me copyright struck? I'm okay with it. That that is from a royalty free site, so uh, I'm sure. I'm putting, my, I'm putting my torch away. Church torch. told me I was okay to burn stuff. Burn that motherfucker down while I'm away. It's cool. <clears throat> I don't know if you should listen to him when on on that particular subject. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Oh, this big natty stepped in the house. What okay. up, natty? Everybody slowly creeping their way in here. Notification just arrived. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um, being as everybody did claim their codes last week, we have two to give away this week. Only two? Yep. Uh oh. There went 20 people watching. Yep. I mean, to be fair, we gave six away last week, so. That is fair. Yeah. And, but that's and what that happened. Means, that means next week there's one. So it evens out lucky. all the way across the board. Can I pick a number? No. You picked the number Please. last night. Let's I, yeah, let's I, I watched you pick the number last night. Before it was even done, you said, I already have the number, and I see somebody typed it. You're a fucking dick. I didn't mean this. I shouldn't. Have. What? What? There was nothing no, wrong don't, with that. No, don't, don't, don't stumble over your words. I heard it last they night. They were done with the numbers already by the time I said that. Man. Bullshit flag, and I'm waving it. Shit. I'm just saying let somebody else have a turn, Jesse. I did not cheat. I, Jesus, you're like a, a number-picking whore all the time. Can I pick the number? Can I pick the number? Can I pick the number? Are you like one of those to, savants where you have a thing with want, numbers? I don't, I don't like want to pick it now. Over there. I don't want to pick it now, then. 52. Sorry. 52. Sorry I said anything, sir. <laughs> That's right, church. Jesse fucked it up. I'm a, I fuck a lot of things up. <laughs> Man. Usually I'm the only one that has to 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 deal with the stuff I fuck up though. I think Hash is I think Hash is asleep. Someone's saying Hash is Hash is quiet. Hash is asleep right now. Hope we woke him up. Go back to sleep, Hash. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. He's updating his firmware. Oh, it's like the iRobot. We're not like you. You're growing up, motherfucker. Look at that. That's right. He, he, even Roro says it. Jesse's always fucking shit up. Whoa. Whoa. Man, you're getting called out from all sides today, Jesse. <laughs> all angles, brother. Giancarlo would like to know if Hesh is okay. I mean, I don't really know that he's ever been okay, but I mean, he seems enjoyable. He seems reasonable this evening. Yeah. Yeah. I think I spoke enough last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, Wait, my I... phone, my my phone keeps blowing up like crazy after band practice, so I don't want the phone to be ringing through the whole night. So what he's saying is his milkshake's bringing all the boys to the yard, and he's trying to be polite about it, guys. Leave him a fuck alone. <laughs> Damn right. right. <laughs> I got your back, brother. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute, Natty. When was your birthday? John Carlos Monday. saying happy belated. I was like, it was on Monday or Monday? Monday. It was Monday. Yeah, Monday. Two yep. days ago. Happy birthday to, to Natty. You. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jerk, 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 jerk. Uh, 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 uh. That's right. <laughs> Happy birthday, Natty. <laughs> 
Question for Fresh. After the flavor ban, will concentrates like Adora be available? Yes, you cannot bla- You cannot ban a flavor. That's right. You can only you ban-, ban flavored e-liquid, but you can't ban the flavors. So, yes. Flavorings are universal. They are used for making as many liquids that you drink as there are to vape. It's the similar product styling, so they can't ban it from one and the other. They can only try and ban it for one use. Uh, no you did use a very good no keyword in there. Try. I think he may not have even stuck around long enough to, to actually hear his birthday song. Like Big Natty heard it start, and he's just like, "Nope." Right click. Deuces. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Ain't going. And it was it. a good night. I'm going to bed. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit in well, my life. <laughs> he's on vacation this week. He should. Yeah. It says ears are bleeding. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> check Facebook. Thanks, guys. Crum what? Promish brown. Is that like a polished turd? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just thinking crumb brown. If so, we need to know the technique. That's a new name. I've never seen that one before. How do you crumb your how do you crumb your turd? That's a better question. Yeah, you'd have to let that fucker dry out. It's kind of like white dog poop. (laughs) You should have you should have gone to bed a couple minutes ago. (laughs) Happy birthday! So yes, for flavor bands, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna jump on board the DIY train, there's plenty of room for you. Plenty of room. Come hang out with us. (laughs) Sneeze. Sneeze twice. Yeah, question. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, go over to adoreliquid.com, get you some concentrates. Uh, Adore ETC. And for the Europeans, yep. Yep. VSO.store. Yeah, well, yeah, every yeah, Adore ETC is everywhere. And then uh, VSO.store. Yeah. You can buy things off VSO.store. Uh, West End Liquids. Yeah. yeah. West End Liquids has some nice one shots. Uh, who else got some nice one shots? Uh, Wizard Labs, Press, Wizard Labs, ChefsFlavors.co.uk. New line, new line release today. Jennifer Jarvis has not one but two, two flavors in the new line over at ChefsFlavors.co.uk. So she offers a two pack as well. That's right. Liquid Barn has them taste makers. That's that right. Uh, I gotta say that is an awesome <laughs> explanation to his name. That is glorious. I will not call you a a, a polished turd. I will always think of chromish brown now anytime I see rust. <laughs> uh, twenty one years old with twenty six years of experience. Uh, hold on a second. I, I'm getting a message here. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got a message from Don. She says, this is why I've been pushing DIY with, with all our heart for three plus years. Now people want to listen. Yep. Straight from Dawn. Straight from a door. That's right. Yeah. Shake it. Hey, I have Current River. I'm good if they ban that shit. Fuck it. You got Current River. No, I care. I care whether they ban it or not. I was not trying to say that. I'm just saying (laughs) if they do, I make my own and I'm happy with that. He makes his own if he wants to. Big Daddy. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Jen Jarvis out there telling you what the new ones are out there for. Banana fig custard tobacco and hazelpotamus is basically Kindler hazelnut hippos. It's in the chef's oh. line. Yep. Oh. Oh. Where is that at? Where is that at? Chefslavers.co.uk. They have they have a flat rate shipping to the U.S. life. It's only about five bucks to get shipped oh. over. Really? Oh, that's cheap. Kinder hippos. Oh. What's up, Freddie? 
I cleaned that Freddy up. Freddy in the house. Clean AF here? What up, Freddy? Yeah. Freddy's in the house. What's up? But yes, there's. I believe there's 28 new one shots in the new uh, Chef's flavors from uh, all of our favorite DIYers: Shindo, Concrete River, um, Jennifer Jarvis, Copple's got one. Uh, too tall, too tall. I think too tall's got one in there. Uh, let me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pull it up right now so I can read you off everybody who's involved. But a lot of them have been on our shows. Everybody. That's I keep amazing. telling. I keep telling everybody that we have some of the greatest DIYers on the planet on our shows. You may not believe me. But when you see what everybody's up to, yep. Like, dang, Fresh was right. That person is one of the best. Exactly. Yeah, you, uh, you got, you got a show the other night Shindo. Is Eric Sutherland a green or is he asking for it? You know, no one else will ever know it, but I, I think I, I'm one of the best DIYers. <laughs> I pretend anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. One shot concentrates. And you said it was the chef's line, right, Jennifer Jarvis? Chef's vapor concentrates, is that the ones? Those don't look like those don't look like you guys' stuff. What did she? I'm a, I'm gonna have to pull up the. Where did where did her comment go? Where are you at, Jennifer Jarvis? It's in chef. It's in the chef's line. Okay, because they've got there. tons of one shots in the chef's line. Ooh. Chef's line is this one? I think this is the one. It's under EJM Concentrate, she said. Uh-oh. Oh, that's all the chemist stuff. Jesus Christ, kid. Dad, I don't want to sleep. Never, never again. He's fucking ricocheted himself off the wall. I just heard the thud in here. Jeez. Okay. She says they will be out in the next week or so. Right now, they just have Adam, Koppel... I think only you need EJM, she says. So you got about another week or so. Okay, there's another week till they all come out? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh, we know that. It means everybody has to wait one more week. We'll try to remember and remind you next week. So I it's I was right though, it was the e juice makers line? Yeah. Okay. So the e juice makers line right now has Copple Chemist. What is this whose is this? Who made this one? Current Affairs. It's a sweet, sweet and tart lemonade. Son of a gun. <laughs> Someone snatched one of yours fresh? I know, right? A black currant lemonade? Son of a bitch. Anyway, everybody, here's the here's the link. This weather, this is where they'll be. Right now it looks like Copple Chemist. Uh, chemist, 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 copple, chemist, chemist, copple. So this is the this is the link where they will be. Every better. Clicky, clicky, save to your browser history. Yep, save for flavor. Save for flavor. It's. Mm. That's awesome. 
Life has already got a bookmark. He's like, Hazel Bottomus, coming my oh. way. Thanks, please. Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> I agree, Jason Morgan. Vanilla Rain from Wizard Labs is amazing. It's one of the smoothest vanilla vapes ever in the history of ever. Mm. So many good, there's so many good one shots coming right now. You know, that whole line from that whole line from Wizard Labs is totally worth your time, and it's pretty pretty inexpensive too. I really hope that market gets flooded hard with one shots because that's that's. I mean, there Jennifer, what's her uh, Jen the Juice Fairy? She has her own one shot website, and it's it's ridiculous how many that she's already got lined up for you. It's, um, You mean Koffel, very similar taste. I, I've noticed that. <laughs> um, what's it called? One and done one and done flavors. Yeah, one, yeah, one, one and, and done, done flavors. flavors or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's called one and done flavors, but she's got she's got probably a hundred on her website for Jen the Juice Fairy. Holy hell. Yeah. So I mean there's a, there, I, I know I know I'd heard of that site before she before she started talking about it. I knew I'd been on that site looking at her stuff before. So but yeah, I mean, like I said, if you, yeah, Jennifer Winstead, yeah, Jen the Juice Fairy. Yeah, that's the way everything looks like it. Well, I can pull that one going. up too. That's worth that's worth your time for those that for those that haven't taken that step into DIY yet. I'm just saying. It's I'm not, just saying. It's not hard. I did it within my first year. <laughs> no doubt, and you can get some of these concentrates right here too. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was about three or four months in when I started DIYing. Thank you, big ass bottle. Yeah, I was yeah. about, I was about three or four, maybe three months, I think. Speaking of bottles of concentrate, does that look familiar? I can't remember. Somewhere between three and six. <laughs> Which one is that? Uh, brain matter. Brain matter. Is that the one? Is that the one with the menthol in it? No, I think so. I think brain matter. I think one brain matter chili wasn't that with the chili one? No, brain matter was more of a fruity. Uh, fuck yeah, I've still got two bottles of Appalachian Delights in back there and concentrate. I really should make it up, but they're sealed, so no, it's peach. <laughs> it's peach something or another. I no uh, menthol in it though. Yeah, it's like I have a whole 30 mil bottle of uh, chain oil I haven't mixed yet. Speaking of which, mixed berry lemonade. How long can I let this stuff go? Because what is it? This is what I have left of Appalachian Delight. <laughs> I mean, I would probably. It's what about a year old now, so it's probably about time to start vaping through it. Yeah. Ooh, that is pungent now. But it's so good. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, saltwater taffy. Brain matter with saltwater taffy. That's right. There's the peach saltwater taffy. That's right. Thank you, Nikki. We love you, Nikki B. Just for answering that question correctly, Nikki B, I'm going to uh, order a set of your boobies. Put them on my tab. Put them on my tab, Jesse. <laughs> okay. Nikki, Nikki boobies. Nikki <laughs> boobies. And look at that. You can have a, a two-pack sale. You can do I two packs of boobies with, with a free bag of dicks. I, I thought I'd go with Nick Tits or Nicky Titties. I like, I like vaping with Nicky Boobies. Uh-oh. Vaping <laughs> with Nicky Tits and the Derb. I don't know. <laughs> they took you really enjoy the new flavor, our puzzle flavor? Flavor King. Black current candy, son of a bitch, Jennifer Jarvis. Ooh. Mother. Black I took candy. your idea. All the black currants. Put all the black currants on all the stuff. Thanks so thanks so, Chris. It's got the, speaking of boobies. This this shirt has boobies on it. It's even got nipples. Yeah, the the asses have nipples on them. Yeah. Everybody go over to vaping so I can get your mixture swing shirt. Remember to ask for nipples. Nipples. The back says the back says you're stupid. <laughs> Speaking of which, um 
Nate, since I see that out there, yes, I was jealous too for a while. I actually had to do some wheeling and dealing. So if anybody else has a bottle of that Appalachian Delight Concentrate that they do not want to use or anything, I will gladly trade you or get something else for you in return. I'm just putting it out there. That's right, Meter. You do have to ask for the nipples. A black currant moose, that would be nice. And I don't just mean in the consensual sense. I mean, if you're ordering the mixtures Ren shirt as well, you have to ask for the nipple specifically. <laughs> I mean, you're, I, I would I would to let everybody know you're more than welcome to ask Mixtress Ren for her nipples. I just I will stay I will be standing back to to wait and see the consequences of your actions. Yeah, I mean, to be never. fair though, I, I think you stand a much better chance of asking than just going for. That's just, true. You do have a, you do have a much better chance of that if you ask. Well, much I'm, I'm equally interested in seeing the results of either outcome. Just because Rin's Rin's Rin's, Rin's, a, Rin's a tall Rin's a taller gal. Like she may not she may not look all that tall, but she's like five eight five nine. Like she'd probably she'd probably lay into you. Yeah. You see it that way, that'd be all right. Exactly. But it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Adam Blarzik says she'd choke slam me either way. Choke slam straight into the arm bar if you know Mixus Rin. Oh, uh, Gizzard's out there. Gizzard Stew. The Who the fuck is that anyway? I summoned him. You summoned him? <laughs> <laughs> I sacrificed an armadillo on the top camera. <laughs> a gun jet finger. Summon you. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Jesse, you always got to make it weird. I didn't make it weird. Yes, you did. Yeah. Always. Come on, dude. Get it together. Well, that's, what I, that's what I add to it then, the weirdness. The warden's in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's about nine inches taller than fresh. She's got about five inches on me. Rin's got four or five inches on me. Oh, the jokes. The jokes. Whoo. She got an inch or two on me then. Damn. See, I've got about an inch on Flavor Pro Jennifer Jarvis. Nikki, don't you thread me with a good time. <laughs> people always people always then people never believe me until they see me in person. That I'm a little guy, and then next thing you know, <laughs> here comes Fresh, <laughs> hugging you around um, your waist. Yeah, that was great last year at Detroit. We're uh, watching the escalator where they should be getting off the planes and stuff, and here you see this little guy with a suitcase over his arm. He can't even wait for the escalator to take him down. He's like, "Oh, Caden." You know what's down. funny is when you just described that. I've seen that before out of him, just a, <laughs> with a fucking like, purpose. Hey, where's Jax? Oh, she's back there. I probably walked too fast for her. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Jax's bag over one shoulder. <laughs> her, bag broke, her bag broke, so she, it yeah. didn't roll right. So I just picked it up, threw it over my shoulder, and it was time to get moving. <laughs> That's right, so great. Sweep the leg. I've been watching that. I've been watching. I watched that video about uh, that life has suggested about how uh, Daniel was a psychopath. Yeah, right. And that, the initiator and the whole fucking thing. Exactly. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel from the Karate Kid was a psychopath. Completely changed my view on that movie. Yeah. Where is There's this? Guy guy in, must go and watch this. No, he, it's called the Karate Kid. Outfire though that you need to watch as well. Changes your whole outlook on that shit. TJ is called the Karate Kid. This punk from Jersey moves to California yeah. and his mission is to destroy this guy that's been training his whole life for a karate championship. And he like he like ruins his dance. The guy's just being nice, sneaking a toke in the bathroom, and they fucking dumps water on him. No wonder he gets pissed and follows him. Yeah, not to mention he fucks their beach party up. Yeah. Right. Huh? I'll find you. I'll get you a link real quick, TJ. 
It, yeah, it's, it's, worth it's worth watching. It's it, it, it change your whole fucking perspective on that movie. <laughs> well, when you stop and think about it, you're like, son of a bitch. I never fucking noticed. And then it starts to click and you're like, it was all a lie. <laughs> son of a bitch. Mr. Miyagi's teaching them little tricks on, well, if you have to, you can use this crane thing when he's not right. expecting it. Which is probably not a sanctioned move in that karate championship. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't take me long. All right, before I forget, one to a hundred and go. Go. Here you go for for anybody else that wants to see why. Go, Daniel go. From, Daniel from the Karate Kid was wrong, and you watch it and you're like, "Oh no, he's he's completely right." Johnny wasn't that bad of a guy. Like he overreacts at some stuff, but like like dude just really want he really just wanted to smoke a J in the bathroom, and yeah. and old boy just kept old boy just kept starting stuff. Or maybe he had a bad time with that woman, but. He was trying to make amends by going to that beach party that he probably wasn't invited for for a good reason. You know, guys can be guys. But he tried to make amends and he wanted to take her somewhere private and talk to her. And the dude's like, no, I can do these moves out of a book. (laughs) (laughs) He shows up at the karate tournament (laughs) putting himself and others in danger. Because he doesn't know he doesn't know what the rules are. <laughs> he doesn't even have a belt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he stole somebody else's belt to put on Johnny. Uh Troy, I'm not sure twelve inches counts as a number. Mm. Either, you, either, either you're bragging or you're dreaming. One of the two, my friend. Maybe a little of both. Eight and a half of which is imaginary. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Frank, you're getting a package. Is it a replacement package? A replacement package. package A package from. Did you send your package to Alan Gorby and now he's done with it and sending it back? No, he is sending me a package. He's sending me a liquid born lava cake and sending me a butter pecan. One on one butter pecan? <laughs> yep. It will change your life. Not really, but it's really good. It's a really good butter pecan. <laughs> Looks like they're slowing down out there, TJ. It does. Uh... <clears throat> That's right. Detroit does need to hurry up, Don. Yes, mm-hmm. it does. That can't way get here we soon can enough all watch Jesse get beat. Yeah, I reminded Just my wait. regional vice president today. It's like I need a load the second week of second weekend of April. I need a load going to Detroit. He has looked at me funny. I said vape convention. He goes, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell him I promise I won't wear the shirt. All right, and stop. Yeah. All right. Okay, this is the end. All right, Jen. Yeah. Right. Somebody want to pull a number for me? I don't right. want to take it out of Jesse's hands. He'll throw a hissy fit. have it. You already got it? Yeah. I mean, that's the way he did it last time. He had the number right away, remember? 49. Go, what's the number, Jesse? 49. Is it, was it, it, isn't that the same one as last time? No. And I, I have not seen the numbers in the chat either. I haven't looked. 49. Let's see if anybody who's closest to without going over here. Uh, Raven Shadow Babe says 46. Yeah. 46, nice. looks like that's it. 46. She's three off, yeah. yeah Raven there Shadow Vapes. Congratulations, Raven Shadow Vapes. Nice. Email me at golftvapes at gmail.com and I'll get a code out your way. Won't be until tomorrow after work, though. So you'll probably get it around 2.30 or 3. Yeah, Detroit's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun uh, hanging out with everybody again. So, Crates, yeah, don't make it weird. Meet, meet you guys. <laughs> so everybody's making it weird tonight. No, just fucking with you. I know.
Well, I'm not well, I don't think you. I don't think Meter was, but you were. <laughs> Raven Shadow celebrating already. Woo! Yeah. Oh, Meter, stop it! Oh, I don't have the gizzard gif, so I have to. I have to. Oh. Do <laughs> Uh, <laughs> That's your judgment fa thing. <laughs> oh, the, the 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 gizzard face. Yeah, I don't I don't have the judgmental gizzard blink, so I just shake my head unconsentingly. <laughs> I think that should be your new picture, Jesse. <laughs> your profile and everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. Now, now you made me excited for you to be in Detroit. Well done, sir. I am not hang out with that old supper, Jesse. You can go to hell if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's gonna. Uh, Freddy wants to give two sets of aliens. Winter pay shipping. Uh, I'll be out in the chat, guys. Yeah, no uh, shit. <laughs> I'll be out it's there. Your show, it's your show, TJ. Fuck you guys. Yeah. I'm going to the chat. Hell yeah. <laughs> So you Freddie, can I can tell I'm going to win already, so just go ahead. I'll give you my address here in a little bit on Instagram. It'll be good. Why did I, I just get host and a stream key sent to me? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a hell of a deal. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and set this up so you have to ask permission to come back. Yeah. <laughs> All joking aside, that's awesome that he decided to do that. That's someone's going to awesome. be really heck yeah. It's Let's do some numbers again. Oh yeah, let's let's run some numbers here. One to a hundred and go. If my all that beautiful bean footage. There you go. We'll do this for Freddy's clean as fuck aliens. I'm just saying, totally uh, I think I've got some sitting over here. Does one person get both, or does two people get eight at uh, one each? <laughs> oh, and I have that upside that down, don't I? I'm pretty sure I've got at least one set of his aliens left. Thanks. I'm not going to lie. Um, I do. And I have a set of... There we go. These big bastards in here. Let's That's why Gizzard was out in chat and not in here. That's why Gizzard's hanging out out there, you son of a bitch. Yeah. He knew what was going to happen. Alexa, make a part noise. I, I agree. I agree, Flavor Pro Jen for Jarvis. Like, I love the Karate Kid growing up. This is how they come, everybody. And there's a gorgeous nice. setup here. And then... Yeah. They are nice. Nice, okay. nice. Let's just, just fail you to play the fart sound. Because I heard you ask, but I didn't hear no fart sounds. And uh, they were talking over him. Alexa. Play a fart sound. These are some fart jokes. And oh, you I shut up, you whore. Did you fart? Because you just blew me away. Uh. <laughs> Do you mind if I hang out here until it's safe back where I farted? <laughs> what do you call a person that doesn't fart in public? A private tutor. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Alexa, you're so A man with diarrhea chancing a fart. <laughs> Why don't farts graduate from high school? Because they always end up getting expelled. <laughs> Would you like to hear more fart sounds and jokes? No, thanks. Okay. I wonder if Google, I wonder if Google knows any fart jokes. I was immediately I just doubt it. Tell us fart jokes. Okay, Google. Tell me a fart joke. Okay, but be warned, this is pretty filthy. Why do gorillas have such big fingers? Because they have such big nostrils. I had nothing to do with fart joke. I feel like that was somehow racist. <laughs> I know. <laughs> did Google? Did Google just get like super racist on me? Oh, that was kind of weird. What was that about? Uh, Google? Oh, Jesus! All right. Well, that died down pretty quick. Apparently, not a lot Whoa. of people want Freddy. Wow. Big fingers, big nostrils. Big Kid, wow, Google Assistant, the mood killer. Oh, man. Like, we're all having a good time with Alexa, and then Google Assistant just comes busting in like Jesse Stucker. Let's make shit weird. 
<laughs> See, Google right. understands me. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Um, somebody want to pull a number for me between 1 and 100 oh. for these? Okay, give me, give me a number between 1 and 100. It's going to say 65. So close, Jesse's. 59. Was... Ooh. Uh-oh. That looks like it's going to end up being Socrates. 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 Will you re-roll? Re-roll. We need a re-roll if Socrates that's, won. That's the friend you need. He's fucking lucky. He is lucky on this shit. So great. Um, get a hold of Clean AF Coils via Instagram. PM him, and he'll set everything up. Um, remember, you got to pay for shipping for it, but you've got two free sets of aliens coming from him. Hell yeah! His his aliens are amazing. By the way, so shipping's great. totally yeah. worth it. Believe me, that five or seven bucks or whatever you spend on shipping, totally worth your time. Yeah, it's worth every so I'm supposed to ask. I'm supposed to ask Google if she burps. Okay, Google. Do you burp? A poet once described a burp as a smart fart that took the elevator up. Breathtaking. Mm. Alexa, do you burp? I, would I don't think you should ask because of two questions. She, she can't. I don't think I want to ask the question that Giz put out there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't think you should probably do that. She might re come out with your phone or a hand might come out of your phone and fucking punch you in the face or something. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't trust it. Oh, God, he's going to do it. Fresh, it looked like you were about to do it. What? I'm supposed to ask Google if she gets moody on her period? Yeah. Okay, Google. Do you get moody on your period? According to you by Kotex, here's the thing about having your period. It is totally normal to feel a little moody, cranky, or on edge before and during your period. It was nice of uh, my Google Assistant to explain the, uh, the uh, facts of nature to me. Yeah. Okay, Google. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, that was uneventful. Yeah. What are you doing? She doesn't mean at all about it. No, she'll, uh, uh, but I mean, she can make your reservations at a restaurant if you want. <laughs> if you want to, guys. If, if you want to. <laughs> and reserve your parking and get your hotel room if you get ripped. All sorts of stuff. I mean, if she wants to. That's how that works. Can you ask? Yeah. Alexa is, wait, you don't have Alexa, do you? No. I have it. I have Gordon Ramsay, but, uh, all he does is ask what you made for supper, and he tears it apart over and over again. You can name one of his exact recipes from from uh, Food Network, and he'll still say it's a piece of shit. They should have a filter in there. If you're quoting one of his recipes, that he says it's awesome. Yeah. Okay, Google. Do an accent. According to Spanish Dick. To get accented vowels on a Mac, hold down the option Alt key and press the E key. Then release both keys and type the letter that you want to accent. Nice. Alexa, can you speak with an accent? Sorry, I'm not sure. She sounded uh, kind of Canadian there. Sorry. 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 Sorry, eh? Who? Clean's trying to figure out what to throw in the TM24 Pro. Ooh, lucky son of a bitch. Uh, nice. Just throw it, just nothing. Just throw it in the box and anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, where are you at, Freddie? I'll hop on my bike. You can throw it out the window, and I'll just catch it. And... I think you need to do Pralians. Pralians. Pralians on the TM24 Pro? There you go. I've got a set of Fralians from Yunkle that I haven't done anything with. I really need to. That reminds me. I think tomorrow I'm going to stuff a piece of goon food in a Pulse 22. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
She's you should you should come on my afternoon show and vape that. I might be able to manage that. Although I do got to clear out a space in my garage tomorrow because I ordered a gigantic fucking tool chest that's coming next week. Nice. nice. This has got a nice, like, hard top to it. Yeah. Well, what is it? A 52-inch wide, 18-drawer, big old cabinet, upper shelf with a power outlet in it. Nice. Ooh, nice. Hey. Very Not nice. Bad. So you can put your put a, a battery charger in there when you're out there all day, you know, doing the tune up. You can have some fresh 2700s ready for you when and you're done. And then I'm gonna Get bring that. my um, little tool chest that's on wheels and put it right there. That way, I right can there. put all my vape shit in there. Nice. And a couple of household tools. Actually, tomorrow, tomorrow night I'm going to be shooting reviews all night. Oh, Alexa, who named you Alexa? That's a good idea. Alexa, who named you Alexa? Sorry, I don't know that. She didn't know. You don't know who your parents are? No. Fucking That's orphan. Sad. It's so sad. Mm-hmm. But does Google know who named it Google? <laughs> okay, Google. Who named you Google Assistant? Did I forget to introduce myself? I'm your Google Assistant. Hi. Apparently she named herself Google Assistant. <laughs> That's kind of pretentious. I know, right? Maybe she emancipated herself and decided oh. um, she wanted to change her name. Here you go. What a productive AI. Google, the company, was named after a big number called a Google. But I'm your Google Assistant, here to help with all kinds of things, big and small. How small, you ask? (laughs) How small, you ask? I've seen your Snapchat. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I already tried. I know she won't let me change her name. Oh, who are your robot heroes? Here we go. Do you know Tug? Tug? (laughs) Yeah, Here are the top search results. Tug robots in healthcare. Mm. All right. We got one more code to give away, so I may as well give this some bitch away right now, too, before it gets too late. Yeah. So, guys, get in one to 100 and go. Oh. Oh, really, Freddy? I haven't been up there. I haven't been up to Tacoma Mall in forever, but I will totally. I'll I'll have to DM you be like where, where she work, and then I'll just wander in, just kind of stand there, awkwardly. Saturation just shut you down, TJ. <laughs> and saturation station, <laughs> saturation station says, go, "Let's go ahead and stop because this guy won." <laughs> it's like, Fuck that. So so fresh. What you do is you walk into the mall, you find where she is, and then you get right in front and go, "All hail the queen." Oh, oh, just walk in, put a crown on her head, and walk out. Like she'd see me, she'd see me come in and just kind of look at me strange. I just put the crown on her head and leave. The Burger King queen. Yeah, yeah. I give her the Burger King crown. <laughs> then her, her rest of her coworkers are gonna be, what the fuck was that about? Like, should we call security? Like, no, he's probably already gone. <laughs> right. This way would probably be to walk in calm and cool and set it on her head nice and gently and then run out like a motherfucker. Just book it straight out of the fucking wall. Devil time. You don't even say anything. Like, you just set it on her head and fucking run. Yeah. No, see, that's one of those things, though. You do not want to be sprinting full speed through a mall because someone's going to take you the fuck out. Oh, yeah. Like one of those. Just like those one of those security guards that's riding around on it on his freaking what are those things called? A little segway. <laughs> He's riding on his segway and just clotheslines me as I'm trying to sprint out of the store. Where are you going, son? What'd you take? I still say, you put the crown on, get on your knees, and go, "All hail the queen," and then just walk out like normal. 
Or do, put the crown on her head, go and stand next to her and just kind of start doing the royal wave. Right. Cup the hand. Cup the hand. Turn slightly. Mm. And then leave. Oh. <laughs> All sorts of fun ideas to have with, with Sasha. <laughs> Voop, you got it right the first time. (laughs) They're still going? Still going. Flavor Pro Jennifer Jarvis is putting a number? That would be a a nightmare for a company. Like, who's getting our liquid Jennifer Jarvis? What? No. No, we're not sending it. (laughs) We're not sending this liquid to Jennifer Jarvis. The The order has been rerouted to hell. (laughs) (laughs) They have it on purpose. They uh they go out and buy one of her one shots and then they send it to her. Yeah, they send her her own one shot mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes awfully a lot like like vanilla rain. <laughs> because it is. <laughs> and with a note that comes, this is not vanilla rain. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Jarvis is a super taster. She t- she's just like. Yeah, I know that. That's exactly my recipe. <laughs> like down to the percent, you sons of bitches. Right? She's like, you guys mix this at thirteen instead of twelve, you dumbasses. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Who's in there mixing? <laughs> All right. I didn't want a flavor shot added. We're gonna stop it there. All right, let's get one last number here, and that way we can hang out for a bit more. Twenty. Twenty is the number. Who has twenty? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a voop. Voop with me ones? Yeah. You had 66, right? Voop with me had 22. No, God he had it. 66 down the bottom. He, he took two numbers. Voop so with did me. Hazel. Did Hazel take two too? Yeah, Hazel did too. I think that's because they came close to the same number. Oh, yeah, because she, she put shoot 23. Well, then voop. Nope. No. Oh, okay. He said, I "Just did it again with the asterisk to show that's my new." Oh, okay, name. got it. All right. Well, then in this case, Hazel. Congratulations, Hazel Blue. Hazel. That's, Email me at golftvapes at gmail dot com, and I will get a code out to you for a dirty cheap e juice, courtesy of this guy right here, the Meter Fucking Vapes. Boot with me says I don't want. <laughs> I changed. <laughs> He's a stand-up guy, that Booper. Yeah, Boop's stand-up dude. Yeah, he is. Oh, job. Congratulations, Hazel Blue. That's right. Congrats. Congratulations. Uh-oh, Pippo's out riding Ruse again. I hope your foot's still okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are a little right. bewildered coming in towards the end of the show there. Come on. <laughs> You know how they do down there in Australia. Yeah, it's only the middle of the sad, afternoon man. there, so. I'm kind of sad that uh, Stan hasn't stumbled in and wanted the link right about now to make you stand. He's probably watching. Hey, Stan. Well, it's probably <laughs> Yeti's not here because Yeti usually calls him out about this time. Hmm. And then next thing you know, he pops in and he wants the link. And then, the you know, that's that's how it goes. Then, then he says something silly and Don has to come in and holler at him. And... Right. Yeah. The foot is yeah. good. Excellent. <laughs> Hippa star, Roostalker. Yeah. She started that one night. Late one night. On our little uh, impromptu 1.30 a.m. Central Time show. That was awesome. She was just pet, out petting ruse in the park. <laughs> just, you guys want to see some ruse? Uh, yes, yeah. of course we do. <laughs> yeah. Any shit yeah. we see every day here, you know? You know, I was I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, for them, it's probably like seeing a deer. For those of us that are states. <laughs> I, I like, think whatever it's even more common deer. Because she seems to she seems to be able to stumble into a, like a herd of joeys anytime she wants. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at them and go, "How are you doing?" Like fucking squirrels, they're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> exactly. 
Speaking oh, of which, I watched her a squirrel get picked off her today squirrels by squirrels and her ears exactly. perked up. I can't imagine Pippa stumbling into a herd of Joey's. Maybe a herd of Jane's. There you go. <laughs> Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Are they? Do they call what? I'm confused. <laughs> Way. Read the book. Yeah, where's, where's Gizzard Stew with the jet sound? I know what Joey's are, but I do not know what Julie's are. This is why we can't have nice things, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Awesome. It's got green dicks oh, it does. behind him. Like it just like give it a sec, give it a sec, everybody. Right over his it would be his uh, his left shoulder. His right shoulder, you'll see it in a second. Should come floating through here in a second. There it, it is. is. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little penis just <laughs> That's some conscious marketing suggestions for Jesse. And it is. You saw a video of a guy fighting a roo. He got he punched it in the face. Uh, I'm sure that fight didn't last much longer after that because that roo's oh got to reel like back and just nail him. I think the best <laughs> video of anything with a roo I've seen is you see the guy videotaping the two fighting in the backyard. Oi, knock it the fuck off! <laughs> and they just look at him and fucking Here jet. Here it comes. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Construct it's a vapor penis. You know, across the screen. I, I'm impressed for as many times as Leaf has had that on in his background. No one has ever noticed that. Right? No, so I'm not going to be Jen Jarvis. Seeing. We know where it your mind is Jennifer at. Jarvis. That's right. It took Jennifer Jarvis to notice the ghost dick in Leaf's background. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it bigger. <laughs> Typical. We <laughs> <laughs> need bigger ghost penis. <laughs> you know those pills are a lie, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, it feels women, right. Women won't really find that ghost penis more attractive. Uh, they will find the urge to go kayaking more undeniable, though. <laughs> After they've had ghost vodka, they may think be, like great right here now. Here comes the day. <laughs> <laughs> now like ghost jaws, like da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, life of trying to catch it. <laughs> catch the boner. Oh, there goes, there goes. You missed it. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. me and Jax are looking at getting a uh, Airbnb out there. Clean AF. We could, we could, I could, I could up the number of people staying and see if you and Sasha wanted to come out and split the cost on that. Stay with some strangers for a weekend. What do you say, Freddie? Mm-hmm. Mm, strangers. It's I can bring some mixing uh, stuff, and we'll just have we'll just have eye contact sessions after the convention. <laughs> Sounds like oh, a good so, time. You're sure gonna have now. fun. Supposed to let my head drop like Bob's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the left a little. To the left a little. Nice. You two are going awesome. Let's wait for the rest of the conversation to to, to hit Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of like chat delay because of that, because you can sit there and wait for the rest of it to cut the rest of what you're saying to kind of hit people and then you <laughs> see the reaction to it. <laughs> see what your schedule looks like? Okay. <clears throat> That'd be cool, man. Yeah, because I already found a I found a two person one that was pretty Pretty sweet deal, but I'm pretty sure I can find something for four people that would be equally sweet. I was looking at some of those in Detroit, and like one house said it had like 15, 16 beds, but they were yep. counting hammocks in 
They're counting mm-hmm. some hammocks in some rooms. Yeah, no, I have yeah. a hammock. Son of a bitch. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Sleeping it was room. like a, it was like sixteen beds, but four of them count, were counted as hammocks. Hey, I'd, like I sleep in hammock. different rooms. I'm totally okay with sleeping on a hammock. I'm cool with get this. A, get a sleeping bag as long as the temperature's right. Uh, you know, I, I like to roll around in bed. And just roll off the side of the hammock. Like, hey, oh, someone flip, someone flipped me over here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there are some awesome uh, Airbnbs in Bremerton. Yes. And when you go and you get zip ties and you take the hammock and you zip tie it closed over somebody so when they wake up they can't get out. <laughs> <clears throat> They're just a hanging burrito. And you're just sitting there poking them with your mods. Yeah, with your mods. <laughs> John Carlos down for hammocks. All right, shit. That's what I mean. It's Jill, Bremerton in July. Like we can just go to the park and hang hammocks. Hell yeah! I don't do banana hammocks, but I sure in the hell will sleep in a hammock. Fucking genius! No, I agree. It fucking weird every time. You knew that was coming, so I don't even know why you act surprised. I know I should just put you in the timeout room. Jesus, it's that's not needed. It's not that bad. Really. Yeah. Have a good one, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Nikki. Actually, shit, it is that time. We should probably take her off. Horse shit. So shit doesn't get too much weirder. Thanks for having me on the show so I can make it weird. And you can support the people that support us in this vaping community if you want to. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's my outro. He's good. Done. It was quick. Quick to the point. To the point, no faking. That's right. Well, in that case, um, I guess then, Frank, <laughs> why don't you go? Make Oop. sure you get you some of this Adori liquid, not from Concentrate. Best orangey liquid I've tried to date, and I had many a search for it. Let me see. I have my bottle here, John Carlos. and we go get you some Omega Knee liquid. Coupon code Pink Pussy saves you ten percent on both of them. West End Liquids, the whole Pink pr- Pink Pussy Brigade. Uh, there you go. PJ's got yeah. it for me there. Uh, catch my show Sunday afternoon, two p.m. Eastern. Uh, we got mixing with Mophead as a special guest this week, and this week's uh, <laughs> theme is going to be cheesecakes. <laughs> oh God, what, what am I missing, Ray? <laughs> Stan just showed up in chat. Literally, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Literally, right after we talked about it. Should we let cool. Stan on just to do an outro? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> please let me finish mine first. Everyone, be good. Be good to each other out there. You know, if you can uh, save one person's life this year, then we can get the snowball effect going, and the FDA won't have a choice but to recognize vaping and not have our flavor banned because there won't be anybody else smoking. Very good. Thank, thanks as always, CJ. I'll see you next week. Oh, yeah. Huh. Fresh. How about it? Battle. What's happening, everybody? Go get your home again. Go get yourself some of the Adore. Um, go get yourself some West End. Get yourself a sweet shirt over on Vaping Swag. You go to BSO.store, get some of his concentrates and one shots. You go to ESIG Express, get one shots. You can go to Wizard Labs, get one shots. You can go to uh, chefsflavors.co.uk and get one shots. You can go to one and done flavors and get one shots. Uh, about time to get on your DIY game if you want to keep vaping here in the near future. About time. At least get into the one shot game. That way you can still enjoy those tasty flavors instead of just backy and menthol. Uh, ask yeah. Cash how good menthol is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, be beautiful, everybody. Educate, advocate. Be good for this community. Uh, over to Leafa at the Boopy Dance Desk. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah, just get into those concentrates. If you order some Adore You Liquid concentrates, I have a video for every concentrate that she has. Uh, so, you know, step by step what VG to get, what nicotine to get. Uh, I even have published little recipes that you can go in and manipulate. So, uh, check those out. And uh, I don't think anybody's mentioned. 
this one. You can use pink pussy over at this one. And since Stan's here, uh, remember, you can go to lucidrda.com, order the Dreamer, order the Lucid. And if you use pink pussy over there, you get 10% off plus free shipping. Thanks again, TJ. It was great. I don't steal me. All right. And to the man with a plan every night, meter. Well, first and foremost, just like every damn Wednesday, thank you most of all, TJ, for having this show and inviting a fuck up like me to be on a panel like this for lunatics like those that come to watch us every damn week. I don't get it, but I go along with it. I don't make the plans. I don't make the rules. I just follow them sometimes, kind of, if I have to. Like everybody has said, and Jesse keeps stealing from me. Support those of them that support us. Go get your Omageddon. Go get your vaping swag. Go get your Adore. Go get everything from anyone who supports the community. Do for them as they do for us. And most importantly, there's a man in this community who does two shows a week selflessly and doesn't get enough credit, in my opinion. I'm talking about Tommy Vapors. Tomorrow night, no fucks vaping. Every Thursday. Friday night, vaping with Tom and friends. People. These are some of the most entertaining shows you will see all week, aside from this one, of course. So go and subscribe to Tommy Vapors if for some reason you have not by now. If you have, just make sure you catch the shows. That's all I ask. Very good. I concur. Tommy's hilarious. Damn right. And that Tammy, though. Wow. That Tammy Vapors. Mm -hmm. Telling you. Oh, love it. Best outros in the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, everybody on the panel, thank you for showing up. Appreciate it. Love having you guys on. And everybody in the comments, except for Stan, thank you for showing up on time. You guys are fucking awesome. Stan, get with the program. But I know that's your MO to be late, so I get it. Whatever. Um, yeah. You know, as everybody is saying, you know the rundown. Adori Liquid, Omegadon. Um, oh, there was one that was missed. This guy. This guy over at Coil Vapes. Some of that I one. Coil Vapes. Or some of this one. Well, you might have got him. Maybe I missed it. I may have zoned out for a moment. But everybody, um, Vaping Swag, go get yourself a t-shirt. Go get some of those wonderful um, concentrates over there at VO. VSO.store. They're fucking phenomenal. That blueberry, though, it's a life changer. Any place that you're going there, you can always know that they're part of the Pink Pussy Brigade. Use that code everywhere. And if they don't have it yet, they'll get on it. Oh, yeah, don't forget, um, even though Stan is late, you can go over to lucidrda.com. And use Pink Pussy over there as well. That'll get you 10% off. And free shipping. Yeah, free shipping. Yep. Stan, even though you're late, I love you. Why you gotta flip me the bird? Not cool. Just Sorry, saying. I got him back. It's so cool. the rest of the chat. It's okay. I'll wait for the chat to catch up. And he'll be apologizing. It's cool. I just I just cannot unsee the ghost penis now. Yep. It just, it's haunting. <laughs> Literally. All right. Bring back the tit. <laughs> Um, as always, you guys know the drill. Do your part. Educate. Advocate. Not for yourself. Not for anybody in the chat. We all know what we're doing. But do it for those who come behind us. Um, Ooh, Don has a matter. Don, Ooh, Don. Thank you, Don. Get him. Uh, no. Not for yourselves. It's for that person who hasn't made that switch yet. We got to do it for them. Because otherwise... They might not have that opportunity for this life-saving, changing devices that we're using to improve all of our own. So, as always, my name's TJ. You're watching Golf T Vapes. I want to thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all next week. That'll be T minus eleven weeks till the two-year show. Um, come up with some ideas. What would you like to see? Let me know. Um, however you want. Those of you who did win codes tonight, 
I will get those codes out to you tomorrow when I'm done with work. So it'll probably be 2.30, 3 o'clock. You'll get them in your emails. I did check. I did get those emails from you already. On that note, who would like to take us out tonight? Anybody. Bueller? I'll do it. Bueller? In the immortal yeah. words of Gizzard Stew, get off your butts and vape. Bye. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape.